can you share your uh, views on the expectations from the budget from a personal taxation's uh, point of view? Sure. So, uh, the past three, four months has actually seen a lot of uh, speculation in and around uh, uh, what is going to happen on the personal tax rates. Uh, I think uh, there has been a lot of uh, debate and a lot of internal thoughts which are there uh, uh, within the policy makers that you know they want to tweak the personal tax rates. If you ask me personally, I've got three points on the agenda. Uh, first of course is the tweaking of personal tax rates. Uh, uh, what the policy makers should look at uh, is that they should make the first slab which is 0 to 5 lakh rupees is totally exempted. Uh, which is actually exempted for a few people, for, for a certain category of, uh, of people. Uh, but I think this should be actually extended to all and sundry. Uh, the next slab technically uh, should run between 5 to about 20 lakhs, which is at about 10%, uh, and then maybe 20 lakhs above uh, at about 25%. Uh, however, uh, what the policy makers had done in the prior budget was that they had also increased the surcharge and you know they wanted to tax the super rich. Uh, I guess they should continue with uh, taxing the super rich. If we are able to achieve even this, then I think it's going to uh, get a lot of cheer uh, uh, amongst the community and people will be very happy with, uh, you know, tweaking of these personal taxes. That's that's point one. Uh, point two is uh, more on the uh, uh, the house property income. Uh, so way back in 2017, there was a rollback that happened. So earlier house property income was permitted to be set off and there was no cap on that. Uh, there has been, uh, there was a tweaking that happened in 2017 as a result of which the cap was made at about 2 lakh rupees and therefore uh, it had uh, it certainly pinched the pocket of various people uh, my thought is that uh, uh, that should be rolled back it if it is possible uh, that 2 lakh rupee cash should go away uh, and particularly on the interest on housing loan because uh, people used to uh, you know set that off uh, uh, and it was not restricted to 2 lakhs so if that is rolled back it will be a big breather for a lot of people uh, and last but not the least, uh, ATC, I think that's something which uh, has been in the offing for a fairly long time. If you uh, step back into 2014, that's the time when we actually saw uh, some change in happening in ATC. And ATC is actually uh, something which is important uh, right from a person who's a CEO even and uh, to maybe a security guard. So ATC investment is something which everybody does. We've seen that that number stays at about 1,50,000. Uh, my expectation is that that should... Uh, certainly go go up to about about three lakh rupees, because the intention is actually to give more and more disposable income in the hands of the common man and the individual, uh, and then that can be achieved by by virtue of uh, tweaking of this ATC, which the number can be made at about three lakh rupees. And I have talked about personal tax rates because that will actually give you a lot of disposable income in the hands. NPS should be uh, over and above that three lakh rupees. Uh, uh, way back, uh, I think in 2011 or something, uh, we had the infrastructure bonds which had been introduced, which were a part and parcel of ATC, but they were rolled back. I think infrastructure bonds should also come back because that's something which uh, with the government focus on infrastructure, you know, that will also help boosting the infrastructure plus people can invest. So I'm saying 3 lakh plus maybe about a lakh, lakh 50,000 rupees on infrastructure and about 50,000 in NPS. So overall, this gives a combined package. While, while these three points uh, which I put through as the agenda uh, work well, uh, but then we need to bear in mind that this will ha certainly have some impact on the government coffers. But having said that, uh, overall it may have the impact on government coffers, but there will be increased compliance, there will be more disposable in income in the hands of the uh, people and uh, of course, uh, you know, more and more purchasing power and then it will help boosting the economy overall. That's about it. Thanks.